start. A prolific ball striker. So we're down here with Mr. Pete Finch. I'm going to do a what's in the bag. It's just a loose and that for you, isn't it? Yeah. Very loose. I, I, off the top. So you on, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a what's in the bag because Pete's got quite a mixture going on at the moment, haven't you? Yes, a bit of everything at the a moment. Bit, literally everything. We've got two drivers, two three woods, a uh, full set of irons, a one iron, a putter. We've got the full shebang. So we'll start off with what, what your decisions are around your drivers at the moment. I don't have a decision around my driver. So talk us through both. Uh, basically, on I'm on this kind of quest for 350, trying to wait a 350 yard drive this year, and I'm just trying everything out I can. At the moment, I know you hate the phrase, but I'm gaming my D3, my 915 D3. Uh, I've cranked it down to just below seven. It's got an X stiff shaft in. And it's oh, seven degrees that, by the way, guys. Yes, and it's tipped um, by half an inch. So. It's a very, very stiff shaft, but it launches with very little spin. Because what, what, where's your club head sit speed at the moment? I topped out a 127 the other day. 127. But that's when I'm pushing it. If I'm swinging normally... You're sweating when you're hitting that Yeah. Shot. <laughs> normally, it's kind of the high teens up to 120. So that's the tight list. Yep. Um, and the second driver I'm trying at the moment is an R15 430 head. These are both 430 heads. Uh, the this is even probably more extreme really because I've got the it's cranked down to 7.5 um, but with the R15 obviously it's a lower spinning club anyway and the shaft is even stiffer it's an x-flex but it's tipped by one and a half inches so it's explain tipping uh, tipping is when they basically cut the end of the shaft down so it's even stiffer at the right. lower point so there's no real kick point and then that's added to the top as well uh, so it's it just makes the whole shaft stiffer. Because I know when you've tested clubs in the past, your spin rates have been way spin too high. Spin rates have been ridiculous, yeah. Because the, the way ridiculous. Pete hits the ball and with his club head speed, if he doesn't tip it and make the shaft stiff enough, he just balloons it. Yeah. Now, last year, I was hitting it past Pete because of that fact. I, I, I would have told him, but we, mm. we'd had him decided not to. But yeah, he then changed it and he, he's seen some great results for it. You know, yeah, see a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... it's Got to hit a couple it, of these away while yeah, you're doing it. It's weird because I'm trying... Uh, I'm trying like, so many different... Bit muddy ball. Trying so many kind of different things at the moment. It's, it's weird. I, this is the most unsettled I've been with clubs in, in quite a while, but... You're just trying to go for this quest, though, aren't you? Yeah, it's part of the process. Are the shafts normal length? Uh, yeah, standard length. I mean, the one thing I didn't want to do with it is... I'm not going to say cheat, but I didn't want to... I, don't, I didn't want to use a club I wouldn't be comfortable using on a course. Yeah, you'd have to use yeah. it on the course as well. Absolutely. I wanted to make sure it was as realistic as possible, really. That's a great shot. More like it, Pierre? Yeah, but I mean, this is very much just... Oh, yeah, you're just knocking these out. Then. Yeah, this not, is just my kind of that. swing at the moment. I can try and, I'll try and step on one with the R15. So I'll tell you what, I've not actually really tried to smash one of these yet. I had a go the other day with a few, but I was shattered by the time I got to these. So I'll try and have one ripper. Yeah, you can see a difference in golf swing there. Yeah, it's, it's just a different thing. I mean, what a lot of people are kind of saying, which is kind of really nice. I'm, they're kind of asking me not to change my swing too much because apparently people quite like my swing. But this is very much just one I can use when I'm... And the weight's in the toe one. are there for a reason, aren't they? Yeah, um, we're having a chat to Liam at kind of Taylor May, and he was saying that if you kind of shift these R15 weights to the toe, the club head can move through a little bit quicker, uh, apparently. So, the tight list? Tight list, yes. Um, similar setup, really, just a different kind of technology. Um, yeah. Well, similar do you, technology. Do you have a, a favourite at the moment? At the moment, um, I feel more comfortable using the tight list. It just feels lighter. I can move it a little bit quicker. Wait, is one recorded a longer shot than another yet? Um, the tight list is longer at the moment. Right. But I, like I said, I've only really had the R15 for a short kind of period of time. Tried to use it in the States for a little bit and that. I think you used it for three holes. Three holes. And two of those were par threes. <laughs> oh, that flight is so, so different. It's different. Isn't it? It is, it is just totally, totally different. And I'm actually catching it. And oh, look at this. 
Look at that. I mean, it's just... I think we've got a winner. I, don't... I mean, it's <laughs> Sorry, not... Sorry, mate. It's, it's, it's not a day you can pull one out and suddenly hit it 3-3-7. Uh, club head speed on that was 1-2-1. One, 3-3-7, one. Three, three, that's the first of it this year. Is that right? That's the first there of we it, go. yeah. What was the club head speed? 1-2-1. Uh, 1-2-1. Two, one, one, two, one. But see, the flight difference, that was what was really impressive. Very, very low flight. Okay. I'll try and up it again. How annoyed would you be if you got 350 on my channel? I'd be pretty frustrated. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to get it with that one though, so I'm all right. Give us one more then. One more. <laughs> <laughs> that first one was quite, you know, when you get, the thing is with it, have you noticed that when you get it, it's a very different shot to when you don't get it? Yeah, it, the, the thing for me, like we said, I have not an issue now generating the club head speed. That is not a problem. When I want to, I can really up it. It's just finding the middle of the face. Yeah. And if I find the middle of the face with this, the flight tends to be a lot more just, I don't know, it's very hard to explain. It comes out with well, no spin. That's the best we can show it on there, but it just comes out low and no spin. It's great. Come on, 350, this is it, Pete. Okay. It's a different flight completely. Do you have any that's regulations on how straight it has to be? Uh, <laughs> no, because I was going to run for a while. Get it. But not bad, so three, two, what was the best one? 337, I think and it Pete was. Pete wanted the longest drive of me. <laughs> <No> <laughs> uh, yeah, 337, 311 carry. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's pretty good. It is pretty good at the moment. So. Right, so now we move on to not just two drivers, but two three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I've got the G30 um, in the pig. Now, this is the one I've been using predominantly. Uh, this is the one that I got a, got a few, actually, I think. Yeah. It's the one I, got I never reviewed it in the end. No, I'm <laughs> giving it you. I might, do, I might do one today. Uh, so, yeah, 14.5. Uh, it's a good looking club. I like it. Uh, it's just a stiff shaft in this one, but this is was a, what the best way to describe it, it a bit of a stopgap, really. Yeah. I, I didn't really have my own three. You didn't like the three. You were using a Cobra, it was really deep faced, and you weren't enjoying it at all. No, no. It used to be my favourite club, but I think things have. Things have changed now, so. <laughs> but um, that's the one I've been. I could have a couple of kind of shots. Yeah, let's see you hit that first. But this is very much a, like I said, it's just a stopgap. It's something that I was using a while. So it's got turbulators on. Um, like I say, Pete said it's stiff shaft. And what do you reckon distance on this? Um, two forty. If I really, really yeah, catch one. I reckon two forty, Carrie. You'll get that. You'll see a yellow line displayed this time. It's a lovely flight. Great shot. Bigger. <laughs> you're, you're doing, doing it. Yeah, it's a big hit. <laughs> 260 carry. Is it a few more? Right. But you can tell about flying, it's just different. Yeah, class. it just kind of flies out there. Cranky. Maybe I'll. Uh... I must admit, I, when you said 240, I thought I would. I, I carry it about 240. You're, you're a bit bigger hitting than that. As long as you don't top it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Good hit. About 240-ish. That first one had a very different ball fight. Yeah, that. very, very different. That was, I kind of stole my driver swing on that one, I think. <laughs> um, now, this is the one I'm... Wow. This is one I might see a bit of a difference in. So, I only got this through the other day. So, I've only hit two shots with it. So, what is it? Uh, it's the Aero Burner 3 Wood. Um, we both have a similar opinion of the sound of this, I think. But I think this will be shaft-wise a lot more suited. It's an X. I like the look of the head. It's a smaller, slightly more open head. Yeah, I like the look of the head. And I hit a couple of shots with the other day and absolutely flew. I have no idea how this goes. Yeah, you've not added a launch once yet. Yeah. So we, we got these as a Valentine's Day present. present. And uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Oh. <laughs> and they it's still on the yellow line there, guys, but you can see that last one. Compare it to the ping. They do just absolutely fly. Look at that. Carry. Big, big hit. It's like this is like a three. This is like a driver it, it, replacement. It is. It's just such a the thing. Is though, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it's a low loft. It's fifteen degrees. It, it. I just. I love the look of it. Very light in the head, so we'll be able to generate quite a lot of fast swing speeds. Not like that. Oh, I'll, I'll be honest. That sounds better than when I hit it. <laughs> Give me one more. One more, one more, don't miss it. You're going to the camera out. <laughs> That's 
very toey. Got excited over that one. Look at some nice shapes there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's monstrous hitting. It really is big. So now we come to the, the, the possibly the most challenging club in your bag. Yeah. So my <laughs> my one iron. This well, this is actually Andy's. Uh, just just hire, just borrow clubs off everyone. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a MV33 one iron. It's an X stiff shaft, and for some reason. For some reason, I just I get on with it. You love this. I, I get on. I get on with it. When very, we played very in well. Scotland last year, and there was, a, there was we played at Renaissance, and there was a certain <laughs> shot that Pete hit this one iron, which was just outrageously amazing. Yeah. So very, oh, very bladed, very small headed. It's it's tiny. It is looking down on. You'll a see very, a red very... line this time coming up on screen. Look at that flight. <whistles> For a one iron, look at that. I think you need that aero burner in your bag if you're going to carry this. Because that, the ping and that, I reckon they're similar distances. Yeah, it's, it is a weird one. Obviously, this is just, if, you're not, if you don't catch it, the drop off in distance with it is just ridiculous. That's true. Anything from the toe or the heel is just no point. Let's give us one more with the, uh, with the one. But it is a different, it's a lovely shot that you hit with it. I mean, I'm, I'm actually trying at the moment, I'll see if I can pull it off now, a bit, of a, a bit more of a faded ball flight with it. Oh, 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 there she is. There she is. So I'm just trying a bit more of a faded ball fly, just to grab a little Take, bit more 10 yards off it as well. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. More of a gap filler, really. What a lovely club. Well, that's the thing, with, with my irons now, I'm getting a little, a little bit kind of less crazy with the swings, probably the best way of describing it. Yeah. Because with the drivers at the moment, I'm just trying to hammer everything, unfortunately. Yes, lost a little bit of that smooth Swinging Finch, you haven't we somewhere I, I can, along the line? I can turn it back on if I wanted to. I promise, guys. Right, Irons, what have we, uh, what have we got at the moment? Um, so we've got the S56s, x stiff shaft again. Um, thick grips, which you love, I know. Uh, <laughs> I at all. Uh, standard lie, standard... When, whenever, we put, sorry, just whenever we play on a golf course and, and if our buggies are together because we've got the same bags, I'll sometimes grab one of Pete's clubs and I won't recognise it's a 56 instead of a 55 until I hold the handle and suddenly I feel like I'm holding a cricket bat, no longer a golf club. <laughs> so I've got what I would call nice thickness of grips, a standard thickness of a grip, uh, which Rick... Have you not uh, got that anywhere like. else? Uh, I used to have it in my old driver. Um, I don't really have it in my new drivers. No. I, I just like, I do like the feel of a, of a thicker grip, but I'm... Um, it's not something which is massively no, important to no. me, I've got to be honest. So 56s, but, but I probably, I, I reckon these are going to be the next thing that fall out of your bag. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've always, probably the best way of describing these clubs is I've always liked them. I've always liked them, but I've never, never loved them. How far do you get a six? Uh, 175, something around those okay. lines. I'm going to put you 182 away from that flag. 182. So just a nice normal golf shot should put you nice and close to that. What's your confidence in me? Cheers, coach. You're welcome. Pull it. Uh, pull it to begin Pin with. Can I? Me. And the rest. I don't <laughs> you, think, you just murdered that. This, this, this is the thing at the moment. I just don't... Because <laughs> of the swing changes I'm going through. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way on God's earth you hit a 6 iron 175. Well, I... The thing is, I just don't know at the moment. One sec. Right. Eight iron. Okay. Same shot. You're hitting it too far at the moment. <laughs> I'm concerned for you, Pete. You're concerned for me. Well, I appreciate you're your concern. it too far. It's got a great look at this. Eight iron into this pin. Landed just under 170. I reckon you're a club and a club and a half longer now. Uh, possibly. I mean, this is, this is the one thing I'm kind of finding out as I'm going through these kind of changes. I need to figure out what I'm actually, what I'm hitting. Yeah. Because it it's is a big drop off. I mean, how far is that pit now? One. It's, one, it's 182. 182. And I'm not stepping on these. That's no, the that's the thing. You tickling it. Trying to hit a bit of a draw. 
So it's going to get the distance. Just turned off line, but it's going to get, get you know, 165 carry. Well, there's a spin on that. 165, yeah. That's yeah. right, kind of right. You know, you're hitting it so so far at the moment, you really are. It, 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 is, it is one of those things I need to, I need to figure out. I need to you figure do. out what my actual distances are. But I can do that, obviously, before the season starts. So. Yes. So, moving swiftly into the wedges. Indeed. After that monstrous hitting iron display. <laughs> um, what wedge have you got? Uh, I've got my Cleveland uh, RTX 5.8 2.0s. And these are... I'll probably say I have everything at the moment, apart from the Titleist driver and the one iron. These are probably these are actually probably my favourite clubs really yeah. at the moment. I really, really do like them. So you, you have your S56s down to pitching wedge, and then you have 52, 56, and 60. Mm -hmm. 52, 56, 60. Yeah. I've just put you out 100 yards away from this flag, so you're going to go 56. Okay. Um, just just a little bit further right than what you're aiming there, Pete. Just, I was gonna, yeah, just I was a fraction say. further right. So we'll see how it reacts into the screen. It's a lovely shot. It's going to be good. Not that far right, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just tell there from the stop you get on these, on these clubs as well. They seem to just stop dead. Uh, yeah. 85 carry, you tickled that a touch. Yeah, they're very, very soft kind of feeling. And I don't know, I, I really just like the shape of yeah. very confidence inspiring. Far enough right or on the right? Maybe same same, same shot. line. <laughs> Take that one off. That's a bit more like it. There we go. Look at that stop. And that, that's just the grooves. You know, the grooves on there, are, uh, they classify it as their grippiest grooves ever. It's grippiest grooves, grippiest face as well, isn't it? Grippiest they, face. They do like a grippy face, old Cleveland. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we'll hit one more. This is nice. I can't remember the last time I just sitting hit balls. <laughs> Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, then your, I would argue, your absolute <laughs> best golf club in the bag. At and the if moment. I could snap any of Pete's clubs, it would be this. Well, I was going to say, well, as I'm, honestly, I mean, when, if you've not checked out the vlogs from kind of Orlando guys or mine and Rick Chow, check them out because this is probably, um, I have to say, this is probably my biggest surprise at the moment, because I've... So I'm looking for your golf balls. Go on, balls. keep oh, well, talking. I've got in pocket, yeah. Keep plugging. Oh, sorry, yes. I got it. I, I did not. <laughs> I didn't know there was a ball in your pocket. <laughs> I mean, as I've, as I've been trying to change my swing, my dispersion at the moment's got a little bit more kind of inaccurate. I did have a lot of kind of clutch putts for par um, when we were over in Orlando, and this kind of came to the fore, really. I mean, obviously, having the nice greens helps. Yes. Yeah, having a nice roll, smooth greens helps, but yeah. It really kind of... So this is the really white hot number seven, the one with the thangs. 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 Is it Donald that uses this? It, yes, I think he uses the slightly different version. And what um, length have you got in this? Uh, 34. So uh, 34 Pete, Pete moved over to this. Uh, I remember when you moved to this, it was the end of last year. Yeah, yeah. And the first couple of times you used it, it was awful with it. Awful. And then once he got the hang of it, he, he really does roll the put, put so, so well with this. He really does. And then the ball to complement that? Yeah, I've, again, this is something that... I think me and you are both kind of in the same boat that we're relatively lucky that we get sample balls kind of and this, testers and stuff. Yeah, this stuff through. So kind of trying out the new Shrixen, basically. The, so this is the Z Star, and this is the uh, the hard version, isn't it? The harder version. Yeah. What do they actually call it Z Star. I just said Star. It's the black number. The black version. Yeah. Uh, or the silver packet. So with Pete's speed, the compression is really key, but also still gets lots of spin off the ball with this as well, which is good. Yeah, but I've been trying, I've been trying this. I've been trying the TaylorMades. Uh, we had to go with the Nikes yep. the other day. Yep. Uh, we, had, we need to have a go with the Callaways. The Callaways, we've got some samples. So yeah, we're relatively lucky that I'm getting all these balls. That's kind of the premium fine. side of things, that premium golf ball market. There's, there's quite a lot of new ones coming out at the moment. So I reckon it's a quite a big decision-making time for both of us, which ball we're going to start to use. Absolutely. But I don't think we're going to really know until the season comes no. around properly. So we You've got you've got a decision with two drivers, two three woods. Yeah. Ho irons. Hopefully a new set of irons come in. Probably going to be this year. Yeah. You're happy with your wedges. You love your putter. Hopefully I can get rid of that. Uh, thank you very much <laughs> for doing that, guys. Yeah, no, if you've not checked Pete out, please do. I can't believe you've not already. Because he's got a quest on. Thanks. Thanks. Well, that's quite emotional. <laughs> that's all. Right, cheers. He's got a quest on.
A quest, if you've not heard about this, I'm sure you have done, I'm sure it's been on the local news. A quest for 350 yards. And today, right here in this video, you saw the potential that Pete can do on that. 337 was his longest hit. So he, each week he's got a video coming out that will explain how he's trying to get to this quest. It comes out on Monday. Uh, Mondays and Slash when, Tuesday. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah, Wednesdays. It's just potentially, hopefully, Monday. So go and subscribe. Go and check us out on the Monday Night Golf Show. If you've not already seen us, I'm sure you will. Um, also, go and watch my What's in the Bag because uh, I've not got as many decisions making at the moment. I'm quite, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm selected now. Really? I just have to take 15 <laughs> drivers out. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, no worries. We'll see you next time.